Hi everyone, welcome to live, our live. Um, we're gonna wait a little bit, a few minutes to wait for some people to join us. And for those of you already connected, welcome. We are Original Murano Glass or OMG. <laughs> and we are here live in our showroom, our brand new showroom. And my name is Claudia. And today I'm gonna to present you some of our summer collection pieces. So um, some of them are brand new, so you'll see it as a preview and you will be able to buy them from our amazing online shop on www.originalmuranoglass.com. Just a few seconds, Marco, do we have? Marco is my amazing cameraman, so he's gonna help me because I'm not able to see your comments. And, oh, God, uh, we have some people connected. So what I want to do is, first of all, please let us know where you connected from. Where are you, where are you located? What is your city? Um, so we know from which part of the world there you're watching us live, which we always appreciate. We actually do this live so people from across the globe can see our new pieces because not everyone is lucky enough to be here in this moment. So in Venice, in Murano Island. So if you are um, from America, maybe from uh, maybe South America, just let us know. And Marco will tell me a few feedbacks, which I'm always happy to know. Anyone saying with, where I'm from? Eh, Egypt, really? Oh, welcome. Welcome from Egypt. Oh. Singapore, oh, I, mean, I lived in Singapore for six months. I was in, uh, in Chinatown. I don't know where you're coming from, but uh, I was there for six months. Amazing, 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 amazing. I loved it. Uh, very hot and humid. It reminded me of Venice. So <laughs> I loved being there. So I welcome you all. So any new, anyone else? Also some names of people that are connected. So I can say hello. Go. Phoenix, yeah, in America, yes. Arizona, yes. Oh, amazing. Iran, really? Oh, thank you for joining us. So I know there's a few of you coming, uh, popping into this live. So welcome again. I'm just asking for people to give us some feedback where they're following us from, which is uh, give us a little bit of an idea where you guys are. And uh, I'll ask you some questions when I present the pieces so we can connect. And maybe if you have any question, please do so. I was saying in the beginning, we're presenting our new summer collection through our live show you can also purchase the pieces that you see now that i'm presenting because they are on our online shop so if you want to go and buy them just go to www.originalmuranoglass.com and you'll be able to go to our e-shop which is an amazing catalog of more than 3,000 pieces of original handmade murano glass item so i really invite you to go there and have a browse and enjoy and see the beautiful pieces that we have and uh, just a reminder we are original murano glass and we are live from our live show in our showroom in murano island the island dedica dedicated to the art of glass making so if any of you is here visiting italy if you are in venice pop into our shop, come and see our furnace and our glass masters creating the pieces. So you can not only buy what you like, but you can see how the glass masters are making them in our own furnace. That's an obviously lovely experience. If you're planning to come to Venice, please always go to online and go to the same uh, website. You can buy the ticket to actually view the masters at work. I think there's a few of you connected now, resident right, Marco? Okay, thank you. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through some of our collection, the summer collection. And the first pieces I want to present are these amazing sculptures. So what is particular about them? As you can see, there's a stand at the bottom that gives the light, so it actually makes the design really pop out. And this is used, um, the master who created this, used the technique called sommerso, so um, various layers of co different colored glass are, are submerged into each other when they're still molten, so very, very, very hot. And that is able to create like a 3D effect. It's not an easy technique. The master obviously needs to be able to work the very hot glass and make sure it has the right temperature so the two pieces don't melt together, losing the in inner design. And also it gives depth. You can see at the back here, you have a lovely blue background, which is a very, very fine um, surface actually. I'll show you at the back. See, there's a little bit of blue at the back. 
it's a very, very thin layer, actually, but it gives such a nice effect that it actually comes through when the light kicks in. Obviously, you can take them off and you can see them in real light. So that's when it's not lit and um, still beautiful piece. And um, obviously, I, I picked the, my best, uh, my favorite animals. <laughs> we have many more animals on, on this plate, but I picked the um, sea turtle and the um, jellyfish. And um, these ones, I think, are is an amazing collection. They have movement, it gives you a sense of sus being suspended into some um, like fluids. And I think these are truly amazing. Also the master this time has put a black background that makes the colors pop out more and also gave a bit of a like um, some bubbles inside which gives like with the light it reflects like white so they look like stars. So it actually looks like it's, um, this lovely jellyfish is swimming in the stars in the universe. So I really, really, really like it. What do you think? If you like them, please give me an emoji about the sea, maybe a wave or, or uh, maybe the jellyfish uh, emoticon. So just let me know if you like them. Yeah, uh, just put, give me some uh, emojis to, to let me show me that you are enjoying them. And obviously these are on our online uh, eShop. Um, each and every piece is handmade and is unique. So it might be that if you like this particular one, you might not find it next tomorrow because someone who's watching the live wants to buy it today. So you might find something similar, but you'll never find the same exact piece. So what I truly recommend, if, if you like something today, um, write a comment so maybe we can save it for you or maybe we can store it or better, go online directly and find the piece and maybe if you need a code, we can get the code for you so we can quickly go and search it in our eShop and we can give you a direct contact to uh, the piece itself so you can purchase it right away. Um, this is with everything because we, there are no molds used, there is no fabric making the piece um, in uh, like a series. They're all handmade and as I was saying, they're unique and original. In Mur from Murano, so uh, no fake copies are available. Another thing I want to say that when you, before I move on, when you buy a piece from us, you will always get the, ter the certificate of authenticity, okay? This is important because when you buy a piece of glass from us, you will always have a certification that tells you that this was made in Murano and you have a piece of art in your house because whatever is made from our masters, it is consider a piece of art and um, they cannot be replicated anywhere else in the world. So that's very, very important. And um, what about them? Are they giving me some feedbacks? Are they liking the piece? Yeah, Marco? A oh, heart. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the heart. <laughs> and by the, by the way, my name is Claudia. If you haven't, uh, if we were not connected uh, before, I'm the person responsible for uh, showing you all the pieces in English. Maybe you've seen them in other videos. So I'm um, taking care of our communication in English, especially through this uh, video. So if you need to tell, ask me for something, if you want me to show something more depth, please don't be afraid to ask. I'm here to help and let you see the pieces that we have and maybe make you find the piece you want for yourself. And remember these, you might, you might just say, say that maybe I don't want this piece for myself, but they, these pieces actually are the perfect gift idea. So if you're going to a wedding, maybe you want to celebrate a special anniversary for maybe a couple that you know, um, these pieces can also be engraved by us. So if you have a special quote that you want to add to the piece um, or special message for someone you love, we can also, we also do that service. So if you are interested, please let us know uh, via email and through our contacts, uh, through our contacts and we'll be able to give you feedback for um, how much time it takes and um, etc. Uh, I will go, if no one has questions about these, I will go to the next piece. Shall we do the violin? What do you say? Yeah? Um, next piece I want to present. Um, let me turn these out, one of them at least, so they're not. 
So this, uh, I just picked one piece, but this is part of a, an amazing collection called uh, Calcedonio. And this is because it's, that's the technique used to create these amazing pieces, and it's um, very special. And Calcedonio technique was invented from, in, uh, into e from Egypt times uh, during the Romans, and it was then lost, unfortunately. But um, Murano glassmasters truly believed they wanted to bring it back, and they were able to do so around the 15th century. And that's a technique that's been with us ever since. So um, the important thing about this technique is that there is clear glass in front and there is like a mixture of colors and striatures at the back that gives a unique and vibrant um, color to the, to the piece itself. And no piece can be made the same because uh, this is a technique that the masters cannot control because the mixtures of the colors and how the materials disperse in the glass depends on the glass itself. It's like it has a, its own design. So it's created by mixing transparent glass, opaline glass, and uh, um, colored glass. So when the three types of glass melt together, the masters are then able to add to the mixture um, different oxides of minerals, which then sediment at the back of the piece and give this amazing coloring at the very back. I'll I don't know if you can, can you zoom a little bit just to show them on the side what I'm talking about? Maybe they can see here on more. Yeah. So you see you have a transparency at the forefront and you have the color glass at the back. Yeah. Just to show, yeah, this is like, see, this is the, the back where all the colors actually come through. So it's also, these pieces are amazing because the way you turn them or display at your house, they will always give you a different side of them and a different coloring. So this is actually their, um, how unique they are. And as I said before with the other pieces, these are one of a kind. So if you like this amazing violin, it could be a gift for maybe a musician. <laughs> that could be uh, an option. Um, each piece is unique. It will never look the same. So we have other violins. Uh, let me grab the other one, Marco. Just pass me the other one so I can show them. Yeah. Thank you. So this, for example, is another piece. In this occasion, maybe there's a bit more blue showing, a bit less red, a bit more orange at the front. But Shape is similar, obviously, because the, the, the masters are able to, let's say, replicate similarly the shape. See, there, this one is a bit smaller, maybe a bit wider, but the colorings are much different. So if you like a specific color, these are the two. Um, maybe we have more available on the eShop, but make sure you uh, check the one you like and let, me, let us know, even either by message now on the live chat or uh, through our email service. Let me put this incredible piece on the side. Put it here, Marco, yeah? Put it here. Coming back. Okay. And obviously we are displaying now the, the violin, but we have many options. You have a sea, uh, we have horses, heads available, hearts, um, Chinese sculpture, fishes, hearts engraved. So um, maybe I can show you a few more pieces which use the same technique that give the coloring, but obviously the different shape. So example, this is a lovely, lovely, lovely heart. As you can see, similar, uh, obviously same technique, very different effect. Also the shape of the piece gives um, a different light refraction, so that gives a specificity to the, the piece. This is amazing, it's a very big, uh, one of our best-selling, this is one of the best-selling collections um, because they also um, work very well as gifts. Like uh, we sell this a lot for like um, anniversary gifts, even some Valentino's gifts, they're really, really special. So, any question about the Calcedonium? No? All good? Anyone else said where they're coming from? If I can say hello. Any more? If you just popped in and uh, just popped down into the live, just let us know where you're connected from. We want to know where, from, who are, we are reaching so we can uh, also like 
connect to you a little bit more. As I said, we are from Murano in the island of glass making. So, shall I do Madame Bovary's culture? Yeah? So, I presented, I'm presenting a lot of sculptures today, but just to give you a sense of how the, the different kind of items we have on our e-shop, which is, as I said, 3,000 pieces of art, so you have a lot to see. But we also create these amazing flat sculptures that represent different um, iconic people or people, characters through, uh, through the history. Um, we call this lovely lady Madame Bovary, and um, these uh, sculptures are made, are sculptured by hand, so when the the hat is detached, but it's attached to the sculpture. It was made in a second moment. Um, usually these are a core of transparent glass to which the glass masters by hand creates this, um, these designs and sculptures. So this, we would use the tweezers to pull the black um, glass added to the, the main frame of transparent glass. You have another part for the lips and the decorations in front I use, I done by using uh, canes which have been torched, so allowing them to melt and creating design on top of the cooled clear glass. It takes a lot of time, a lot of technique. Obviously, with these pieces, it's very important that the temperature is always uh, maintained um, stable because they can crack. Um, but our masters are very good at making these pieces and have always created pieces that are really unique and um, last a very, very, very long time. I really like these ones. We also have, do you have another, another particular person they want to show? We have the Statue of Liberty. We have um, connects to the Kiriko. Uh, we have hands making shapes. Very, very cool. Uh, we have a little bit of everything. Oh yes, show me. Let's show these. We don't only make faces, we have hands. So again, this actually, um, creating these pieces is very challenging because the, sculpt, the master needs to sculpt the, the, very, the glass, which is very malleable, but can get cold very, 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 very quickly. So doing hands is an extremely hard job, especially given it a shape. The, usually glass masters use a gravity to help the glass piece uh, to cool down, but at the same time can en engrave it here with the tweezers and um, then detach the different um, fingers. So lovely eyes here. Again, these are made using um, glass rods, uh, canes, which are torched. So they start melting, then they can create a, sim um, a design on top of a clear glass. These are our hands. On a more practical side, I would go to our amazing glassware. Can you, are we good? So, obviously I can only fit a few options here because there are so many available. Um, just a, cle a quick uh, background. Um, the usually glass sets come in six pieces um, that we have different patterns, different, different designs, different colors. So you can have a browse on our eShop on www.originalglass.com and you can see that we have a lot of designs available. But just to let you know, obviously these are handmade through the technique of glass blowing and obviously um, they have different shapes. These ones for us, they're a bit more eccentric, a bit more colorful and I can ensure you they make an amazing uh, appearance when you have a nice table done for maybe Christmas or uh, maybe you have a, a special dinner coming and you want to like uh, surprise your guests with some glass from Murano. I think that would be an op excellent option. A bit more, um, I would say linear and kind of designish. We have the sets that are, we have three different colors at the moment. We have the uh, light blue, white and black. Obviously they come in a set of six. And uh, the thing that I love about these glasses, they are, they are very, very light. So they, they're very, I don't know, uh, super extremely light, but they can still be quite robust. But uh, the filigree insertions are just amazing. I don't know if you can show them, Mark, a little bit. Can they see it? Ah, Vinny. Thank you. Who was that? What's the name? Do you see the name? 
I just want to say thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you for such a wonderful color creation. Thank you so much. So these glasses all have this filigree insertion. They're handmade. And if you wonder how they can do this, I'll show you something so you can understand the process. So usually all design in glass are um, through the use of canes or different kind of canes which uh, have a design on themselves. So when the, the glass master lays them down, uh, then they cre can create a and then fuse them together inside the furnace. It creates a slab that can be used then ar around um, clear glass and give it shape. And with, with the technique of glass blowing, then it can give them, um, make them go a bit of a wider, like a balloon. And then through the use of the tools, it can create a hole and then create each single piece. So very, very unique. Obviously, the, the fact that they're handmade gives them so much value. And these look like very similar, but again, because they're handmade, you will never have the same, exact same uh, filigree design at the at the bottom. They will be very similar, but never the same. So that is a display of it being unique and uh, unique and not repl like replicable. Each glass is different. Oh, be careful. I'm going to break them. Another uh, different um, kind we have that came in just la last week are the two, um, I would say, uh, this are oh, a mixer of opaque and iridescent uh, mirror kind of glass. And this is a transparent uh, with bubble design and iridescent glass. So these are very, I don't know where they can see them best. Maybe here, Marco. This one. Yeah. Again, they come on a set of six. Uh, they can be very, they look a bit more similar than uh, compared to like maybe this collection, but um, they still have their unique um, set of bubbles. So you can see them, they are uh, unique and handmade. Yeah. Anyone liking the glasses? What do you think? What colors you might like them? If you want to see another color, maybe you want to see the, Murina design, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see a Murina glass design uh, for this collection. If I have a few, maybe I can go and grab them quickly and show you and explain what a Murina is because it's not uh, so straightforward. Marco will let me know if someone wants to see a Murina glass. Yeah? What do they say? Not yet? We'll give them a bit of time. Quadricino hearts. Thank you. <laughs> if someone wants to see something particular, I want to show you the marina, give me a thumbs up or something that tells me that you want to see a bit more from our glass collection. While we wait for our clients to let us know what they want to see, um, two more, a kind of a few more things uh, on display today. We have uh, two vases. Um, it's between a sculpture and a vase. They're quite sturdy, um, quite heavy. Um, these, I uh, wanted to show them today because they're new for our collection and they have, um, they're made with a different technique compared to everything else apart from the uh, lamps. These are uh, created by Sommerso technique. I think you can really appreciate this technique on this particular piece. You have different, so you have a first layer transparent glass which goes from turquoise to green to dark blue. And this is, uh, takes a lot of masters because obviously the master needs to blend and put together uh, one into each other, different colored glass, and then create a shape that can um, reflect the, the colorings and make them um, be the main, the center of the attention for the piece. There you are, you can see here. See, as you turn it, the light can go through differently and then show different details of the, the vase. This can be like a centerpiece or like a piece you can put on your shelves to give a bit of color in your living room or study room. It has uh, the possibility of um, have a little, maybe a few uh, flowers on it or maybe some dried flowers that can be very decorative. Um, whereas the other piece is a bit wider inside, so if you can see. And compared to the other one, it's a bit more um, 
It's a bit more, I would say, more colorful because when the glass marks made this, not only it col used different colors, obviously, they used insertions of Murina and filigree Murina, and which you can see at the inside. I'll show them when Marco can zoom in. And also inserted all this bubble work inside, which is not, um, it's not just casual. The master actually did design it on purpose. It's a very interesting technique and it takes a lot of time to do. So it's important um, that I tell you that this is not, it is actually a wanted effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. The price of the blue one. Okay. I'll ask my, uh, my team. I know someone is asking for the price for the blue vase. Uh, what I'm going to do is ask my, my team colleague to just double check for you. Give us just a second. Yes, thank you for waiting. Um, do you have it, Marco? Can you, do you want to ask? Yeah, you check. And um, in this one, obviously, it's a bit more uh, wide, so you can may use as storage from items, maybe key holder, <laughs> or also here you can put a lovely, um, lovely plant or uh, a lovely set of flowers. Um, obviously, covering it will uh, take away the, the ability to see inside, which is the most colorful part, but you can see it also from the transparency of the glass in front. Hmm? And while we wait, they tell me the price for this one. Also, this, um, this summer we have uh, new pieces of jewelry, actually. They're all handmade. They are uh, with original Murano uh, beads, which are created through the use of um, torch glass. So torch glass is different from um, the, using the furnace. Obviously, you need a lot of glass rods and is a very small torch that blends, um, is able to melt the small canes, which then the master can blend together, creating a lovely pattern for each and every pearl. Being handmade, the pearls are different. In these ones particular, what they, uh, in order to make it uh, richer and more, um, I don't know, I think more light reflected, they actually added golden leaf. Gold leaf, which is a special uh, thing about uh, Venetian uh, glass. Uh, we, the gold leaf is actually a craftsman that we have in Venice, the gold leaf makers. Uh, in Italian, it's called Indoradori. And these lovely um, pieces are then used to create this lovely beads which are put together and to create these lovely patterns. What I have here today from the new collection, I have amber color, but also turquoise, which I think it's a very, very nice. I mean, it's an amazing um, addition when you have maybe a black dress or for an evening gown. I think these are, are amazing, or even during the day, because they're not so heavy and they don't um, take a lot of like neck piece <laughs> space. As you can see, they're very delicate, but they can capture a lot of attention. So these are two pieces that I really, really like. Any news, Marco? Do you have the price for that? Okay. They're just giving me an update on the piece. Okay. Want to give me the code? One, okay. Uh, I'll give them the number code. So for the person who asked me for the, about the blue vase, on our e-shop we have two sizes. And um, double check its article number 1700. If you go to our online shop and you put search uh, on the research engine, you can put 1700. What that happens, the Isha will directly uh, connect you to the piece. And the name is a Vase Drop Blue Sommerso Murano Glass. Vase Drop Sommerso Murano Glass. And I think you have two options of sizes. Um, I'll show you maybe how maybe the smaller size is. I think let me, this is another, another shape. Maybe it's a different one. Let me move this one. Um, here I am. Let me move these lovely glasses and I'll show you the whole 
collection for this kind of sommerso blue vases, which is incredible. Obviously, it depends on much uh, what kind of space you have at home, so <laughs> the different sizes can make a difference. And uh, obviously, these ones are on a smaller scale, slightly different because this has a little twist of colors at the back, at the very bottom. Still, same technique. This one, for example, has more of less of an angle, so more teardrop shape, I would say. This is a more more designish, a bit more uh, rhomboid delt shape. Um, if you have any questions about this piece, I don't know if the lady or the gentleman who asked are happy with the reply or if they need further help. I'm asking Marco, which is my video maker, uh, chat checker. <laughs> I cannot do it all. All right, so for the person who was asking about the vase, uh, let me know if you are, uh, your questions have been asked, answered. And I was saying, I don't know if you were connected still. Or maybe Marco, if you want to reply on the, for the lady, can you reply to her on the chat? Can you reply? Yeah. And just say the code number for the item and um, 1700 on our eShop. Because it's quite... Uh, in our our eShop is quite busy, you know, as I was saying, the issue with these things are you have one of them and you have, might have a different one. So we have, a, it's constantly been uh, renovated, constantly been updated. And um, as the lady or the gentleman did, it's very important that if you like something, you let us know in advance because maybe as we speak, someone else is buying it. So we need to be on top of things. So make sure if you have an interest for something, just to let, let us know right away or go to the eShop which is at www.moriginaloranoglass.com. And uh, on our website, you can also have a bit of a browse about what uh, the techniques used for these amazing pieces. We have an extended like blog where it talks about how this piece are made, what is Murano, how, what is glass blowing, what is Sommerso technique, which has been used for this, what is Murina, Actually, I don't know if they reply to that, but let me just grab a glass that shows, or a piece that shows the Murina technique, yeah? I'll be back. Uh, Mille Fiori or Murina. I'll take these ones. So it gives you another idea of what kind of glass we have. I like this one because these are my colors. <laughs> um, so for this kind of glass, obviously it comes with a, um, in a six piece, it also has a jar connected to it. And um, in this one, you can see the Mille Fiori or Murina pattern being used. Murina pattern is typical of Murano glass making. And these are actually very unique the way they are made. So basically all these flower insertions are small, um, pieces of glass cane that's been designed by the glass masters. So the glass masters have rods of, um, I don't know if they can see it so small, but maybe they can. They have glass uh, canes um, with singular colors and what they do, they create, they stretch them and they create different, with the very stretch and thin one, then they create designs uh, within the cane. These are then placed all together on a plate to create a pattern, which is then used uh, to, and is wrapped around uh, clear glass to give at the end this amazing uh, result. Uh, it's very, uh, it's particular to Murano because it's a technique developed in Murano. So these are really a good display of how, what the mastership is about glass blowing, glass making, marina making, and how much time it goes into one single piece. This is why it, they have a value, because at the end of the day, you're not just bringing home some glasses, some glasses or some kind of vase, you are bringing home or you're getting delivered to your house, an amazing piece of actually art. And yes, deliver because we deliver across the world and uh, we try to get our pieces everywhere. So that's why I was asking you where you were from and uh, I wanted to know what kind of uh, locations you were uh, listening or tuning in from. And we deliver to all over the world. We have a fast delivery service. We have an amazing customer care team that is, looks after your orders and shipment. And I was doing at the beginning, um, we have 
each piece you receive, even from the glassware, you receive uh, an original Murano glass OMG um, certification of authenticity, uh, which give you, uh, gives you a unique um, code, QR code, that you can then attach uh, to the picture of the item you have purchased, and that will give you your original Murano glass certification of authenticity. Why we need that? Because obviously Murano um, has a special, uh, is special about um, glass and they want to be, uh, people to be able to have something that certifies that whatever you have at home, whatever you purchase, is, was made only in Murano, the island of Venice dedicated to the art of glass making. Do we have any feedback from the crowd? Anyone? Any questions? No? Please give me a heart. Yeah, what? Ah, see. If you need any more information, I want you to give me a lot of hearts if you're liking what you see, if you like our showroom, because I'm talking about at the back you can see our showroom, uh, which is new. We just opened it like a couple of months ago. And uh, original Murano glass uh, also, apart from the glass shop, um, the, the showroom has also a lovely furnace where all these amazing pieces are made. So if you want to come to Venice or if you want to, you are in Italy, you want to come and see uh, the island of Murano, just let us know and you can book your ticket online and you can actually see the glass masters at work doing their art, doing um, whatever uh, they're massively um, magical good at and you see the whole processes of uh, glass making and also uh, glass blowing, very important. If you have any questions about any piece that we have presented today, please leave us a comment, even though you're maybe looking at the, um, the, the reply so the, or the late, you're looking at the, the show afterwards uh, when our live is done. And also um, they, kindly, they kindly pass me some other lovely um, designs of glasses. This, this is the set, Marco. So there's different, so for example, in this case, in this set, uh, the colors are not unified for the whole of the six glasses, but you have different color shades, similar patterns, but different color shades, which are incredible. Uh, tutti, all of them. Uh, should I just, I'll come. So just tell me to come a bit closer. I'll pick the blue one. Mm -hmm. okay. So in this case, the glass has been given a more of a blue, bluish color. Obviously, the shape is not completely, the shape is not completely regular. Yeah, and this glass, I'll show you another color so you can See me a bit the green the the green one. So similar similar shape, pattern design, but different coloring. Yeah. They're all different colors. So when you buy this set, for example, they just make uh, I think I just make a a scene by themselves. So if you put them in a table, I can assure you, your guests will be very, very much impressed. And, or if you buy them as a, maybe even, I think they're perfect as a wedding gift because they can really are, uh, have the preciousness of an object that is uniquely made and um, can also be a decoration for the house. I've seen some people put small plants in it so they cannot just be used as glass but little, um, Decorative and also in this set you will always get a jar which can be used, used as water So that's great for the piece uh, for the um, table set of glasses and the jar follows the same pattern design along the, the surface and it's light blue You have some um, yeah, you have some I think it's more yes in this case has been used, um, sil silver leaf has been used to give this uh, shiny reflective coloring. No. What about this? Do you like it? Please send some colors. Show me some hearts if you like this piece. Obviously it doesn't come by itself, but it comes with the six glasses 
that I showed you earlier. Yeah? All good? Mm -hmm. Just to like, just to reply, see, this is the, the jar. Can be also used for wine. I would use it for <laughs> wine. In Venice, we love our wine, maybe a bit of Prosecco. And uh, you can use the glass also for wine, I think, because <laughs> the night, light, nice and light. And as I was saying, the master this time has used different colors to give a different coloring inside the glass. And the white part that you see that reflects the light is a silver leaf. Yes? Yeah. Let me just show you. I think the glasses are very, like, are being a big hit. So I'm going to show you again some of our, the pieces I presented you earlier. I'm going to show you the Marina glass, glasses with its own um, jar. Thank you, Marco. Ooh, these ones are amazing. Thank you. All right. Some more Murina examples. Lovely, lovely. So, technique I've been describing before, Murina, Murina glass of Mille Fiori. So the use of Murina throughout the whole um, piece to give color and give this lovely uh, design. Uh, all around the, the jar. Actually, this is a typical wine jar for us, isn't it, Marco, in Venice? <laughs> like if you go to a smaller stereo, you'll find wine being served in these old jars. And this is our, the, um, the glass pieces connected to the jar. So you have six glasses with the same Murina Mille Fiori design and the, the jar, the water or wine jar, as you prefer. So this is blue, which I haven't uh, shown you before. And I'll show you now the, the pink one. Leave us some comments if you're liking this, the series of glasses. And I'm just picking the glass I presented you earlier with, with the jar. So you have the six glasses, uh, Marina or Mille Fiori design glasses with its own jar. Very pretty, very delicate colors, again, amazing for a gift for maybe weddings, anniversary, presents, uh, because these pieces can, they are good because you can use them daily, but they can also be for display. So they're not just like a piece of design that you're not going to use. These are actually have a function. So they're functional design piece, which are, I think that's what's most needed how, now in our houses. If they have any questions about these set, please let us know. I'll put the jar here, just to, and I'll put the blue jar, so they want to see it. So let me just recap what we um, have seen today, so if people maybe were not here at the beginning, can just ask me more questions. Um, so we've seen the set of glasses, obviously we have a very big variety and it's hard to display them all. So what I really invite you to do is to go to our online shop on www.originalmuranoglass.com and um, I think there is a connection, a link from our Instagram page on our bio. Just go there and see which, maybe which kind you like, which design you like. Um, I also showed you a, more of a sculpture kind of item. So you have the blue vases with submersive technique. We have the free hand sculptures. We have um, the, our glass vases have created for us. Uh, they're a mix of um, submersive glass and uh, free um, sculpturing while the glass is hot. So very unique. Each of them are its own. So if, uh, if you like one specifically, please buy it right away because these definitely are not replicated. So you have one of a kind, maybe similar, but never the same. The lovely um, design um, flat um, portraits with the insertion of glass canes that give color and um, I think a 3D effect on the object. And then we, we go back to the beginning when I showed you our amazing um, Sommerso lamps. These are two piece. 
obviously you have a, a lamp at the bottom and then when the piece is displayed um, on it, it gives uh, a nice shine and allows the, the piece to be a, a lamp for itself and allows the 3D design to come through. Thank you, Marco. And these ones are truly, truly amazing. They do, if they, they stand out as nothing else um, because the light really gives um, a liveliness and it gives the detail that's been used to create the piece um, very, 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 very. See? Yeah. Okay, I might get this. I don't know if I, I can't carry it with the lamp. Is that okay? I'll come with the dart. Okay. As you can see, but it's quite heavy. <laughs> so using my muscles here. But I don't know if Mark can, Marco can really show you the, how it is. So I was saying this is a submerso technique. So the glass master created a ba black background with white insertion to give this effect of like the sky with the um, stars. You have transparent glass and in the middle you have, let me take my hand out. In the middle you have the actual 3D jellyfish sculpture coming through, which is amazing. And when you're at the front, obviously you see everything, but it really, it really stands out. And with the light at the bottom of it, you can enjoy the design even more. When you buy it, you, you will get the stand, don't they, Marco? They get the, the bottom part. Okay, so when you buy this, you can also decide whether you want the light stand from the bottom or just get the, the sculpture uh, by itself. Um, I would recommend to get the stand because it gives you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, for the custom, yeah. And the other pieces I was talking to you about uh, is the Calcedonio uh, collection. We have various options, so I really personally invite you to go to our online shop and double check all the items, with all the shapes that we have available. And um, I was talking about the Calcedonio technique before. Uh, what Marco remind me to say is that these pieces, obviously, we are inside an in, inside um, room, so if we, we don't you don't get to see the actual beauty of it because when this kind of glass is hit by natural light, it truly does give an amazing um, variations of color. That's where it mostly uh, gives its shine, its best quality when it's hit by natural light. So if it is in a home environment, you really, really enjoy this piece because it will give you a set of colors that it's, you'll never be able to see anywhere else in nature. Amazing, amazing colorings, amazing striators at the background. Um, I don't know if we have a little light we to show it a bit further. No. Let me see. With the phone, let's see if I can make this a bit more true for you. Maybe? Can you see it? Marco? See how beautiful this is? How the different colors truly come to light? Start with my phone, but I can ensure you when you see it through the with the sun, you'll be amazed yourself of how beautiful this this technique really is. Yeah. With these ones, we have very very different objects. Uh, again, also have amazing horse heads. That I think are beautiful sculpture pieces, handmade. So you really see the uh, technique of our masters in sculpturing the hot glass and um, but also more maybe iconic pieces like the violin okay well i think we're done like for today i think that would be a good uh, fair share of pieces if you're watching this on replay Please don't be afraid to ask us questions and uh, through the comments uh, if you need any information about pricing, where to buy things and how to connect to our shop. 
just uh, drop us a comment. Um, again, my name is Claudia. I'm part of the team for Original Murano Glass. Uh, thank you today for watching this, our display of the summer collection of glass vases, glassware and uh, jewellery. Anyway, we'll see you soon. We'll, you, we'll go on holiday for a little bit, like <laughs> for a couple of weeks. So we'll see you back at the end of August with a lot more new pieces. So stay tuned. We'll give you a bit of feedback in a little bit about uh, when we're going to do the next live so you can be ready and uh, see all new pieces that we have collected. For me, it's everything. Thank you for watching. Ciao.